Hi everyone, Alice Brown, Lady V here, uh, bringing you our weekly update. And yes, we did skip last week, but and we're a day very, late today. And, but we are <laughs> recording. A very anyways. good reason. We have had our nose in the grindstone on our book for a good week, week and a half now. About oh, yeah, a week. Yeah, about a week. Knocked out some really good work. And we have got some great news to give you. So stay tuned. Here it comes. Welcome back. We have got some fantastic news to give you in regards to our book. You want to Mon Monster no? Mom? Monster Mom. You want to talk? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Monster Mob, My Vampire, Book One. Actually, Actually that's reverse. It's reverse. Okay. All right. It says Lady V can't talk this morning. I'm going to take over for a little while. It's my mom's. Yeah, my mom. Oh, my Lord. We're right. in a I think bad I got day. I, got, I think I got this. <laughs> I think I got it. My, our book, My Vampire, Monster Mob, Book One. Woohoo! Third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our book, My. Vampire, Vampire, Monster Mom, Book One. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with We've me been today. writing too long. I we know. can't talk. Unless <laughs> it's scripted and on a screen. Uh, we are getting ready to put up the the progress page from our website. Yes. As you can see, we are currently sitting at dun 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 eighty percent on I this am book. So it is, happy. I know this is book is coming along so well. Wasn't it like two weeks ago we were still sitting at forty five percent? When you left for Florida, we were sitting at thirty five percent. Yeah. Okay, so so we have weeks, really yeah. knocked a lot out. We are currently sitting at, I believe, 66,000 words. It is um, just coming along phenomenally. Yes. Now, um, we have a tentative release date for April 5th. That is scheduled to change if we run into any problems. But I think we've given ourselves enough time on this one that I think everything's going to be okay. So that is the tentative release date. Uh, as we Once we get the book done and... Uh, edited, beta mm -hmm. read, all that good stuff, then I can give you a, a set date. But right now, that's what we're shooting for. Because I actually think we're going to be done with this book in another week. That's that's what I'm hoping for. So, um, we also have the cover reveal. Yes, so. Oh. Here we go. The cover cover for My Vampire Monster Mob Book, book One. One. Yes. Yay, I said it again. <laughs> the extremely talented Jess, Jess Buffett. Buffett did our cover for us. She does all of our covers for us. She does an amazing, amazing job. Yes. I told her I wanted to go down the more um, illustrated covers or or um, what I, do you I call? don't even I, I think she classified it as a uh, urban fantasy illustrated cover. Yeah, I believe so. But uh, rather than just go the real people that we've done in the mm -hmm. past, I wanted it more uh, illustrative. So she did a phenomenal job on this. I'm so pleased with her work. So uh, we also, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, in the middle of writing, we also had a scare with Shadow, our yep. dog. Uh, that that set us back a day or two. Ooh, that was uh, a few days ago, he literally collapsed. He could not stand up on his own. Now, many of you know we've posted this before. He has um, hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia. But when he fell, when he couldn't stand back up, it looked to me as if it was his in his front shoulders is where the problem was coming from. And so I immediately thought, well, with hip dysplasia, I wonder if he's put too much emphasis on his front legs trying to get out of the pain of the back legs and that has caused you know something mm -hmm. and we ended up having to after literally carrying him outside all night whenever he needed to go to the restroom because he couldn't get up and down by himself and he couldn't get up and down our steps and then back to the backyard in. yeah um we took him up to the vet and dr henry was very good. He said that it was a good thing we brought him in because with a dog having hip dysplasia and arthritis, you know, there could be other stuff like uh, degenerate muscles that are just slowly being eaten away, just like the uh, hip dysplasia mm -hmm. tends to do. But he said 
The good news was is it all felt like it was just a sprain that he might have just taken a step wrong going down the steps and all was really good. Yeah. So they gave him a shot, which by uh, the after that afternoon, he parked him right up and yep. he was good to go. He's still limping a little bit on that front leg. I know it's still bothering him. It's his... Uh, his right leg. Right. Yeah. Right front leg. But he's doing a lot better. They also changed out his daily medicine for the hip dysplasia slash arthritis uh, to a different medicine, higher dose, so mm -hmm. that hopefully that will solve things too. So, good news. Yeah. Shadow's recovering well. Yes, he is. So, <laughs> that, that was a major scare in our household, though. So, back to the book. Yes. We were 80% done. We've shared the cover with you. And, little secret note. Book two's already plotted out. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, actually, we're actually on top of our game right now. Yeah, we really <laughs> are. We really are. It's been an amazing month as far as yeah, writing. The, it really yeah, has. The, so far the first quarter of the year is going to look really good mm -hmm. with progress that we've made. It certainly has. Oh, another piece, piece of good news I have to share with everybody. Um, one of our prior videos, we shared... The shows that we are have uh, signed up for, and most of them I've already heard back, and we've been approved. But there was two that was outstanding, or were outstanding, mm -hmm. and that is the Azalea Fest um, in April, down in Wilmington, North Carolina, and then Galaxy Con in Raleigh in July. I still have not heard back from Galaxy Con, but we are in Azalea. We will yes. be there. So if you are in the Wilmington area, or you want to come visit. Um, it's beautiful down there. It Absolutely is gorgeous. gorgeous. I've always I love loved it. Wilmington. Yeah, I love it. If it wasn't for the fact that this state gets hit with hurricanes, I would live in Wilmington because I absolutely adore it. Mm -hmm. um, Our favorite beach down there is uh, Wrightsville Beach. Yeah, which is right there in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. So um, we will be there April. What I'm going to have the screen up right now so you can see the actual date and get, okay. find the website unless yeah. you want to go find out the information for the Azalea Fest. So that's Thank on you. your screen right now. <laughs> I know it's in April. I don't remember. I don't have the exact date in front of me. So, <laughs> Okay, now. To finish up the video. To finish up the video, My Vampire Monster Mob Book 1. If you want to know what it's about, here is the back cover write-up. So here we go. We're going to put the uh, cover back up here uh, mm -hmm. for you to see while I'm reading this. Tony Martelli arrived in Hoboken, New Jersey numerous years ago and almost single-handedly ran the mob out of town. Today, he owns and operates M&M Security. The company provides security at the local hospital, helping the police periodically and occasional outside jobs. The inhabitants of this small water town, waterfront town don't realize that M&M security is made up of all paranormals, and the owner is a vampire. The supernaturals of this town live day-to-day -day policing their own and enjoying life. Tony considers each member part of his family and does his best to look out for everyone. But when a young human woman collap collapses at their door, a chain of events begins that no one could have predicted. Kara Carter is on the run and down to her last few dollars when she stops in the quaint little town of Hoboken, New Jersey, just a stone's throw away from the Big Apple. She has no idea her life is about to change. When Tony realizes Kara is running from one of his own kind, he and his team go into action, protecting Kara while hunting for the rogue vampire dogging her, he her heels. Tony watches as Kara watches over Kara while observing how well she gets along with other paranormals. Can she live among the supernatural on a full-time basis? Tony certainly hopes so because Kara is his mate, and while he knows he must tread carefully until his team catches Kara's ro rogue stalker, Tony is determined to talk Kara into forever with him. That sounds really good. So, Believe it uh, or not, even though I'm partner on this book, that's the first time I've heard the write-up. <laughs> Well, I I've been on. too busy. I hadn't gone and read it myself. Yeah, as I say, it's in the shared <laughs> folder, but anyway. <laughs> I've got access to it. I just hadn't done it. Uh, for those of you that are fans of our prior work, you will be happy to know that several characters, several of your favorite characters, will be making an appearance from the Vampires Among Us trilogy. Uh, trilogy. Uh, they And they are in book one, and they will continue on in book two also, book mm -hmm. two and three. Yep. And at some point in time in the future, because this book is plotted out, I think we've got seven books planned in this series at least. 
uh, at some point in time in one of the come up and coming books we will also be bringing in a couple of the Dragonos characters. Yes. So when this series is finished, we will be interlocking all three series. As if you don't remember, um, Tony Martelli and his group did make an appearance in Fire and Ice, Dragons and Dragonos yes. book two as well, mm -hmm. where the twins were on Earth and their, their visit to Earth took place in the middle of Hoboken, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. It sure did. So we've already got those two intertwined and I plan on expanding on that a lot as the series progresses. So stay tuned because uh, we have we will bring you more updates the closer we get to completing this book another piece of information uh, that i do have to share is not only are we 80 percent done on this book but i have been had the time i've had the ha i've had the time to go back in the evenings and proofread or edit the work that we did during the day so i my goal is, is when this book is finished, I might need a day to go back over and do the last part of the edits, but that will be it. Everything else is already edited. Uh, of course, it'll have to go to the beta readers to make sure I didn't miss any mistakes because, yeah, y'all know I do. <laughs> That's why I have beta readers. You know, when you readers. write the story and then you reread it 10,000 times, you're bound to miss something. Well, I get to the point where I read what's supposed to be there, not necessarily what's there. I think every there. author does that. Mm -hmm. We see what what is in our mind because we know this story so inside and out that mm -hmm. we just yeah. miss it. So that is the end of our good news. We hope everybody's excited as we are about the upcoming release. And until next time, have a great day.